Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Trusted Gem Goddess Quita, or you can call me Quita, either one would do, I answer to both. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz, if you like a book of reading with me, a one-on-one says it's just, or just donate to heaven on earth, you're more than welcome to do. So, everything is in the description box below. Uh, welcome back to my gems and to all my new people, new, um, uh, what are you waiting for? Click that uh, subscribe button, like, share, all that good stuff, comment, um, but most importantly, become a gem, become a part of the family. Uh, we'd love to have you, especially if you're on your healing journey and you're a Christ conscious person. Definitely love to have you here. Um, but this is a particular message. Uh, this is very in, uh, particular, very, very particular. Because um, the Holy, I was going to do something as a Holy Spirit said, no, I need you to speak on this. But um, some people elevated because they were supposed to. Some of your soulmates and divine counterparts elevated in a way because they were trying to keep you apart. Some people chose paths. Um, and some people were elevated to keep them away from their divine counterparts and elevated in a sense of social status, elevate in a, elevated in a sense of, um, how can I put it, to, uh, to keep you guys socially from ever meeting, basically. So if you was on a lower, lower part of the social status, they elevated soulmates. If um, to keep you with karmic people, um, and they elevated divine counterparts while keeping the other, you know, keeping you at a lower status. That was done on purpose. Some of you guys, some of you guys, divine counterparts took um, deals and stuff, and you you didn't understand, or some of you did understand, some of you didn't. That uh, part of the deal, some part of somebody's contract was as long as they stay away from you, and and, and stay uh, uh, stay away from you, that they were they were able to have riches and fame and fortune and all that okay and some uh, some of you guys didn't do that some of you guys didn't it, it was a, it was a spiritual contract that you were you know, that you wasn't aware of you wasn't consciously aware of when you took part into some organization some money some fundings and stuff um that it was to, to keep you away from your uh you're so it's so not this is not have to do with just twin flames and divine counterparts sometimes you're divine count sometimes you're supposed to be with somebody for a particular reason a lifetime to learn something from you it's not all the time in a negative way a lot of times when they do this to divine counterparts and people who are supposed to meet on their uh growth journey it was to keep you guys from elevating one to keep this particular person from elevating and some of you guys don't realize that's what happened what happened was that they elevated, um, like, to keep the divine feminine in a low state, they elevated the divine masculine counterparts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people, soulmate, twin flames, kindred spirits, that elevated the male counterpart to keep them asleep. And um, because they already knew, they knew the female uh, counterpart was awake. So they keep kept her status low while upgrading your status to keep you guys apart. And that was one of the biggest tricks of the enemy um i'm not saying that you shouldn't have took it i'm just wanting you guys to be aware of what the holy spirit showed me and they told me to speak on it so i have to speak on it um another scenario is some people took uh some people had babies with other people to make uh their divine counterpart their divine car uh their divine relationship strain burdensome so no matter if you get together with this person or not or these which are uh, soulmates or not their their intentions is to keep the baby mamas that you have or baby daddies that you have put the shoe on the foot well put the put the shoe on the foot that that it fits okay <laughs> but um yeah they they did this purposely to even if you guys were to get together that you guys relationship would be strained and still will be strained just because of um who you laid up and had kids with and it's not all the time your fault but this you have to be aware and some of the spirits say some of these kids are going to um some of this, i'm hearing some of these babies ain't even yours so you better go get some tests and some of these babies aren't even your your child you're just not if you're a male some of these babies aren't your biological seed okay uh, others of you it is your biological child and some of you guys since that karmic did what they did to that, that not to harm you but i know it's gonna hurt you but spirit will be taking those babies um away 
some and I hate to say this but that's what's in the spiritual realm because those babies are karmic um, they made you have uh, uh, babies with a karmic person to lower to lower uh, those divine the, the, to lower that child's soul so the, what the soul the soul has agreed to okay we, we we want to be reborn not with this mother but with this mother so it's don't look at it as a loss um divine masculine please do not look at it as a, as a loss some of you guys' baby will be willingly given up their life at this particular time to come to be rebirthed into the the rightful family with the rightful parents the mother and the father being the rightful parents um i'm not saying that not all of everybody's children is going to be alive on the live some of the baby mothers are going to be on the live simply because of the magic they, they they did and the payment that they took and some of those kids will be a uh, blended family so i'm talking to a huge group of people here not just specific people so please use your discernment with with this particular message please use your discernment please do because this is not just for one or two people this is for a a, 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 a group of people a, a mass group of people but some of you baby mamas uh are people who work normally work behind the scenes they're they gonna have to give up the ghosts they're gonna have to give up their ghosts and 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 and, and go to purg purgatory in the afterlife or whatever uh but spirit is gonna deal with them for taking money for the contracts because they knew better they knew better they purposely got pregnant by you they purposely did things put things in you guys' drink did things to you guys' food had some kind of uh, sex magic that they wasn't supposed to be having in the spiritual realm to draw you in and they have to pay for that and some of their souls are going to purgatory and will not be reincarnated for a while um, due to that due to due, due to them uh, accepting this contract because some of these babies were not supposed to be here but the divine allowed it so that we can learn from these mistakes um, in next lifetimes and in this lifetime and, and for our future generations to come to so that you guys can be very aware that this is a real thing that this is not something that's just made up um, some of you guys kids will be dying some of your baby mamas will be dying some some people that tried to have see my karmic tried to have a baby with me but then he tried to play with it um, tried to have a baby and then tried to make me want to have a baby and his, his was all about mind games and I did not get pregnant for um, that particular karmic and the kids that I have now are meant to be here they were supposed to be here because I didn't come into my divine counterpart until like four or five years ago and I already was in a relationship with my karmic eight years ago before I met my um, came into the knowing of who my divine counterpart is and who my soulmate kindred spirit that I was supposed to spend it should spend some time with um, and have I was supposed to have a child for him as well spirit is confirming that but um and that was cuz so cuz me and this particular person had a contract actually me my twin flame and my um, kindred spirit we had contracts to 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 where we were supposed to have I was supposed to have a kid for him and him so that we can show how blended families are supposed to act and, and actually not faking it but actually actually living this out and that was interfered with so some people are finna uh, uh they're gonna take uh face the, the divine justice it's gonna be quick they're gonna face divine justice for tempering with those two relationships because they were very aware that 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 was supposed to happen so that being said you guys just be careful who you lay with and have kids with not um all babies are karmic and some kids want the death of some kids are not always meant to be grieved but be celebrated because those same souls are come back into a more divine connection to be born um and However, the Holy Spirit is going to do this. How it's going to do it? Um, they, everybody know who's guilty or what they've done because their conscience uh, has already been has already been. While they was putting me on trial, Holy Spirit was putting them on trial. Put it that way. It's a lot of people that was been on being on trial, being put on trial, but it got reversed back to um, Pazuzu's uh, kingdom and who was messing with divine counterpart relationships. Okay, so some people are um, some people babies are going to be. 
you know, it's crossing over to be reborn within this, this same lifetime. Some people, baby mamas, are going to be um, unalive due to their own karma, what they did. Some people, baby fathers, are going to be unalive due to the magic they did. Um, and that's just the way the cookie crumble. And a lot of people, I know a lot of people like, oh, why you wish death? Some people, I'm not wishing death on nobody. I'm not doing no kind of nothing for anybody to to, to, to pass away. I'm just, a real, I'm just a messenger. I'm just relaying a message from the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit told me to tell you guys. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing nothing else. I, I, I really don't know who, what. I just know my situation, my situation. But, um... I don't know beyond that. I'm just giving you guys some, um, what the Holy Spirit told me to give you. And uh, ab above that is some out is some third parties who had influences in this. And this this person is the head of a lot uh, of uh, this big sex ring. And they the husband and wife are going to pay dearly for what they did. Um, and the people that normally your divine counterpart or uh, you can forgive your the divine counterpart is going to be forgiven, but they they they're going to have karma. To, 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 they, they, they're going to get dealt with for, for signing, for, for the ones that signed that and to stay away from you. They're going to be dealt with uh, on a heavy, heavy level, and they will never do that again in any lifetime. Um, and for your kindred spirit that signed these contracts, the ones that did it unknowingly, you guys are going to be forgiven. It's not going to be so much hard karma, but you do have to learn lessons from this. You're going to have some karma, but it's not going to be hard. So people that intentionally did this are going to have harsher karmas, of course. A lot of you guys are not going to ever be able to see this person in this lifetime due to you lowering the, the, lowering the um, frequency of your soul. Um, you you would never be able to reach that point in this lifetime to ever even come face to face with this person simply for the fact that you normally knew. And that's the way the cookie crumble. Peace. Be the Holy Spirit. I'm just a messenger.